So now in this video, we're going to have a look at your workflow. With the Z9, uh, as you know, there are two slots in, in, the, in the body. You can actually put two formats of cards. The first one is the XQD, the original format that we've used for a number of years already, and the CF Express, that is a new compact flash standard. And we're going to have a look at what is the implication of uh, choosing one, or one card or the other. So I'm going to start with just using the XQD card in the camera, and we're going to start talking about photography. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've switched on the camera to the uh, photo mode, and actually I've chosen a burst, which is 20 frames per second. And also the, the format is going to be RAW. Uh, it's high efficiency compression. It's just to have just a comparison uh, between the, the formats and the different cards. I'm going to make a burst now, and but we're going to have a look at the pictures left on the card. So as you can see, it's more than a thousand car pictures left on a 32 gigabyte card XQD format. And what is available here when I half press the button, the shutter release button, is 21 pictures. It's, it's a very, very conservative number. Now we're gonna have a look at what it gives actually when I give a burst in this, uh, with this format of card. You see the number of the pictures is, is this decreasing quite quickly. And I just stopped when it starts to stall actually. And now we're gonna have a look at the pictures right away. And it gives actually 78 pictures, raw format, large, and 20 frames per second. So it basically, it's roughly four seconds of shooting. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same with the XQD, with the CF Express format. So changing the cards, okay, from XQD to CF Express. The, the capacity is different, it's 256 gigabyte, but that's not what's interesting us actually, it's the speed, it's the transfer rate. I'm gonna make the same burst actually, the same settings, 20 frames per second, again, raw high efficiency. And now we see what it gives, actually. And you see down there, the remaining number of pictures is decreasing, of course, but very slowly. And of course, if I, if I just, just release the button, it would come again. And you see as well that there are more than 9,000 pictures. That's the capacity of the card, which is eight times more than the 32 gigabytes. But actually, now we're gonna have a look at how many pictures I've shot. So it was, firstly, it was 78 pictures, and now it's 244 pictures. 244 pictures made in one burst, which is roughly more than 12, uh, it's more than 12 seconds of shoot, actually, instead of four. Of course, not everybody shoot bursts, but it's just to understand that it's not only the capacity or the card format that has an impact. The, the, the card format is very important, but the transfer rate is key to the availability of, of pictures made by the camera. Now, I'm going to switch to video to see what I can do actually with the same cards. So first, I'm going to switch back to XQD. And that's it here. I'm switched back to XQD quickly format my card to make sure pressing these two buttons, two quick buttons, slot one. I just erase the cards very quickly, a split of a second. And now I'm switching to actually to video here. So now the, the, the settings I have to, uh, to, uh, to work on is two things. It's the codec, the video file type, and the frame rate and size. So in terms of video settings, uh, I need to check two lines in the menu. First, it's going to be the uh, codec, the file, the video file type. I'm going to choose X265 10 bits, just for the comparison uh, sake. And as you can see, actually, there are 4K and 25 frames per second. The duration of the recording is 17 minutes and 34 seconds. It's really acceptable to shoot something uh, to make a production. You're going to need to take care of the card, of course, but it's acceptable. But now, actually, if I just switch to ProRes, the other format which is available, so the same file size and, and frame rate, how many seconds is available? 38 seconds. You cannot produce anything with 38 seconds available on a card. So you need to switch to CF Express, actually. That's really basic, but checking that, actually, if you're in a hurry, you can actually check that very quickly and see how long you can have in terms of burst. So the card, you say yes or no. So now I switch off the camera and switch to CF Express card. 
and just switching on the, uh, the camera, you can see instantly how long you can have on the same settings. That means, again, ProRes and 4K 25 frames per second. That's 38 minutes. You, as you can see, actually, the card itself is just eight times bigger in terms of capacity from 32 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes. But the capacity of the card is way much more than eight times more actually than the former card. That's for one reason actually. It's because the buffer and the cards are, at, I would say, com fully compatible. They can hold actually the pace of this heavy recording in ProRes. 38 minutes in ProRes for 256 gigabyte is quite comfortable. You can just record your rushes and transfer them to SSD, for instance. Now, if I switch to H.265, we're going to see how long we can just take with the same uh, format and the same card. So H.265, here, 10 bits, and now the same, again, the same frame size and, uh, frame size and rate, 4K25. Now we can record actually two hours and two, five minutes of video, and that's absolutely fine. So you can see actually, with the different formats and different cards, we have talked about our workflow, and the workflow is gonna be fine if you just shoot, I would say portrait for instance, one frames per second, just, just a quick adjustment, raw file, you can, you can hold it with XQD. But if you should burst for sports, for animals, nature, and stuff like that, you have to switch to CF Express and the rather reasonable um, capacity, like 256 or more. In, in actually, availability now in terms of cards is up to two terabytes. So you can hold a large number of pictures, that's for sure. We had a look in this video at the uh, workflow. You, ha you have a very quick tip just to have a check at the pictures. That means the burst in photo and in video. And then you can choose very easily, I would say, uh, from the two cards formats. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.